What is up guys, welcome to another video that Kiki Guy here. So today we're going to talk about choosing the right blues for your deck. So previously I have talked about choosing the right reds for your deck. So this one, I'm going to be covering the blues. Now if you haven't watched the red video, I suggest you guys go and watch that first and then come back to this video as it does touches upon the same points. Now let's break down a card. Now to choose a good blue, you must be wary of the cost, the defense value, the damage and also its hit effect. Of course, the damage here is not really relevant because blue, you aren't usually using it for the damage, but you're using it to pitch. So, the two other factors come into account. The hit effect, the defense value, and of course, an additional one would be the cost. The reason why a good blue is important because any card that you pitch during the early game comes back to you during the late game. Now this is especially true using during Blitz as the deck size is way smaller. Therefore, it is important to ensure that blues can do something during the late game. Else the game will just end up in your loss or a draw. For the defense value, the key number here is 3. So this is important as 3 blocks out most of attack reaction and also it blocks out cards such as Command and Conquer which disable your use of defense reactions. However, it should be noted that certain non-attack action which has many benefits that only box for two is still acceptable. Such examples are Morvian Skies or a Blue Plunderer. Now, if you look at the benefit it gives, it actually gives multiple buffs, which justifies its presence in a deck even though it only blocks for two. As for attack action, most class-based attack action has a defense value of three. Now, you must also be wary of the hit effect it provides or any other passive abilities. Some good blue attack actions are Soul Beat Strike. Now, even though it only deals up to 2 damage, it still has the hit effect of going again if it hits your opponent. So this basically forces your opponent to throw one card in order to defend it, preventing it from going again. Another good example will be Splat Blade Assault. Now, even though it's a blue, it still creates 2 Rune Chan token which is similar to its counterpart, the red and the yellow. Even some blue defense reaction can be useful. This is especially true for the ninja class where a blue flick flag still provides combo cards with a bonus defense value of 2, even if it by itself only defends for 2. Now if you are talking about attack reaction, the first blue attack reaction that comes to mind is the lunging press. Now the lunging press adds only 1 damage but it doesn't have the restrictions such as the razor reflex or the pummel which is dependent upon the cost of the attack action card. Of course, the Lunging Press, even though it only adds 1 damage, if you play it with a card such as Command and Conquer, which only deals 6 damage. Now, if you add a Lunging Press upon it, it becomes a 7 damage card. Now, Command and Conquer uh, usually forces your opponent to block with 2 cards, which has a defense value each of 3. Now, if you add a Lunging Press upon it, it becomes a 7, which usually destroys your opponent's arsenal. That's it guys, uh, I hope you guys can understand now what are the good blues that you should include in your deck. Thank you very much for watching and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Do check me out on Patreon and also on the Discord. I have a Discord link down below, you guys can join and check that out. I do have a Twitter, anything at all, do message me or you can just comment down below. So thank you very much once again guys for watching and see you guys in the next one, bye.